Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a small lecture on equine performance. Now, equine performance is a big deal, essentially. We spend a lot of time and a lot of effort trying to maximize um, our race horses, our hunter jumpers, our dressage horses, etc., for maximum performance. We have, for the last 6,000 years, tried to optimize the activity and the ability for the equine to actually perform with all kinds of things. We found that the most common way that we can optimize performance is to make sure all the muscles are being fired and all the nerves are being fired and we do that with of course the VOM technology. If you go to the VOMtech.com website you'll see the technique on how we go ahead and routinely adjust virtually every horse that we actually come across and we maximize all of the neurological interferences for everything is firing. If everything is firing essentially then the animal is able to move as normal as it ordinarily should be able to move and it is maximized. When we start treating conditions like race horses, hunter jumpers, dressage horses essentially, they start to improve in their performance significantly. They'll knock seconds off their time in a racetrack, they'll knock, um, uh, they'll become faster, they'll have more endurance. They'll actually be able to move better and perform better in the ring, like for instance dressage. If all we're trying to do is treat or optimize a normal, what we would think to be a normal functioning equine essentially with this technology, the chances that they're going to improve are well over 90% essentially. And by improvement, that the client basically, that rider on the horse, knows that from, from one day to the next day after we've adjusted them, essentially the animal is significantly and objectively better. They can see that when they time the animal or measure it, but also they can feel that with the animal underneath them. We bear, virtually go through and do the same adjusting technique in the equine that we always do and then we'll apply myofascial release to make sure that all the muscles are optimized. What, the, what this is, is resets the Golgi tendon apparatus and muscle tendon fiber of the muscles, particularly down the back, but also we can go after the areas of the legs essentially and we can go areas of the neck. We will find a lot of myofascial tension that will actually exist in the neck muscle and so we'll come through and do this. We show this extensively on the website and also we show this particularly uh, extensively in VOM Module 3, which is part of the certification process, which we would hope that you consider. Also, we have other techniques that we can utilize for lasering these animals and optimize their function with that too. Also, gastrointestinal lasering, essentially to optimize their normal function, allow them to be able to heal faster and also to assimilate protein better and basically generate muscle tissue and uh, develop quickly. And as we mentioned to you also too, very commonly in an animal that has a tendon or a connective tissue injury that we'll do is we'll endeavor to use this device as a means to try to reset and rebuild um, the connective tissue, normal connective tissue function of the ligaments and joints essentially in that, that regard. This is the method that we use. Like I say, performance enhancement in the equine is a, is a huge, huge field. It basically involves hundreds and hundreds of hours of specific applications that have been developed over the last 3,000 years, however. But almost all of them are held in place and all the um, uh, benefits are held in place by basically going through and optimizing the spinal cord. This becomes incredibly important. With just this device alone, I can actually do more than almost any veterinarian in the country for performance enhancement, essentially. And this bypasses all kinds of medications, therapies, wraps, etc., etc., lotions and potions and supplements, etc. If your animal's not adjusted, your animal is running in first gear all the time. Virtually everybody who has had their animals, for instance, hunter jumpers or um, barrel horses, have had their animals adjusted. They realize how good they do after that. They get their animal adjusted before they compete every single solitary time. There, are, I've trained at least eight different veterinarians who do nothing but optimize and go through um, animals that are going to be on a racetrack, hunter jumper, three-day vendor, barrel horses and dressage horses. That's all they do is they go to these competitions and tweak these animals and optimize their functionality. It basically is a self-potentiating uh, subspecialty if you so desire and it's a lot of fun. The success is very high. So I'd have you go to the bombtech.com website and actually look at that particular technique to make sure that we do. We show you how in three uh, introductory uh, laser or three introductory videos how to do it, why it works, and also how to apply it to your practice. And if you get through the third video, essentially we'll show you how to download all of Module 1 essentially for free. Thank you very much for listening. And we'll also discuss the um, performance enhancement and also optimize performance in the canine in another video. Thank you very much and have a great day.